Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be showing you how you can count or add certain items. And we're going to be using the count if and sum if function. All right, so these functions are particularly useful when you have a large sets of data, right? So for this example, we just have a small set of data right here where we might not necessarily need to use these functions. But if you have a long list of data, this is very helpful. So let's say that we want to know how many sales Jake has had this year so far. So right here, we're going to type in Jake because that's who we're looking for here. And then we'll do a simple count if function found here. And then it's going to ask us for the range. And that range is referring to the area where we can find Jake's name. So that would be this right here or all of column C either way. And then we're going to want the criteria is going to be this cell, which is Jake. We'll go ahead and hit enter. And so that's going to count the amount of times that Jake's name based on that criteria that we set is listed in our list of sales here. And we can see that that is five times. And if we just look through this list, we see Jake one, two, three, four, five, and that's it. So we know that the formula worked correctly, but we don't have to manually check that, right? Especially when we have large sets of data that can get super tedious and very annoying. So then to figure out how much money Jake has made across those five sales, we can do a sum if function. The range is going to be where we can search Jake's name once again, right? And that's going to be column C or this area right here. We're going to do hit comma and the criteria once again is going to be Jake. We're looking for Jake. And then the sum range is pretty self-explanatory. That's what you want to be displayed essentially. So that'd be column D or this area right here. We'll go ahead and hit enter. And we can see that Jake had a total of $5,819.31 in total sales across this data set. So if we look at Jake, we have a sale for Jake here, 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 and here, and that'd be it. And we can look in that, that sums to 5,819.31. Since our criteria is set to this cell, if we wanted to change the name to Sarah, for example, that would automatically update. Show us how many sales she had and the total amount those sales were worth. So super simple way to add and count based on a specific criteria. In this case would be Sarah or her name. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and smash the like button. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.